don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's my phone or what, but hi, <laughs> we're back. Holy cow. I think this has only happened to me one other time. It's like hide and seek. That's right. I'm doing this on purpose just to keep you guys on your toes, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Well, we can just start the Marilyn and hopefully the video works. It has been that kind of day. I mean, seriously. Phew. Okay. Well, let me show you this little finished zippered pouch here. So this is what I just made. Okay. On the last video, if you were there, you are the real followers, Janine. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to attach a little wrist strap here, right there. And that's that. Okay. <laughs> Let's start the Marilyn and see how far we can get before this video quits on me, I guess. My goodness. All right. Well, let me heat up my iron. Let me get my pieces. Um, 15 minutes at least, Susan? I hope so. Gosh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's my phone or if it's the internet. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think it might be weather related. Sorry. Um, Natalie, I gave all the measurements out at the beginning of the last live that was right before this. Go check that out. <laughs> I can post it too. I can post all the, um, measurements for that little zippy clutch that I just did. Okay, so let's do the Maryland wallet. I mean, why not? We'll see how far we get. Okay, so for her pattern, she has you grab a piece of like cardstock and have a piece of plastic. And you're gonna use this as you make the card slots. Um, the first time I saw this method, I thought, mm, that's weird. And then I did it and I'm all, oh, that's super cool. So I highly suggest trying it. Totally worth it. So here is my big card slots. I don't have any interfacing on them yet. Um, you add the interfacing after the fact, after you fold them all up. So yeah, I can't control the weather. I'll try that. If this video quits on me, I guess it just wasn't meant to be this today. But we'll try again. All right. So. You get your card slots. We're gonna draw um, one two inch line. And then from that mark, you're gonna do six inches. Right? Yep. All right. <laughs> Oh, our trees are looking sad in our backyard. That is for sure. So you want to take this first, um, this first one, and we're going to move it up to that mark that we just made right there. Okay. And I am going to have to bring you guys over to my iron real quick. I have it set up right over here. Um, Sasha, it was just my own little pattern that I put together. The ID pouch. It wasn't a set pattern. Hello from Delaware. Um, this is the third live that I've tried to start today. So um, hopefully everybody, <laughs> um, it doesn't die on me. Okay, so when you move that up, give that a press. And then you take your card template, put it here, 
and then you just move up from there. So you take this and you wanna fold to that line that you have marked on there, just like that. Okay, just like that, and then you press. Hello. Um, this is the Marilyn Wallet by Lynn's Handmade. Sorry, I don't have it linked in the description because I had to hurry and try and start another video. Uh, sorry about that, guys. And then you just do that all the way till you get to the bottom. You just keep bringing them up and folding, making sure they're even there. This gives you pretty dang good card slots. Okay, I mean, they're looking really good. I don't know if you can tell so far, but yeah, it's a great way to do it. Definitely try it for this pattern, the way she has it, because I think it's great. So many good different card slot folding ideas. Like with the shazzy one, it's kind of the, the shazzy wristlet I just did. Kind of the same idea. You're like got templates of the measurements that you need to fold them up and you put them on. It's Kind of the same idea. All right, and then another one here, here, and here. And then I think that is all. Just like that. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. This is the Marilyn. Marilyn wallet. Because I don't think we could do it. Well, could we do another one? No, I don't think so. All right, it's been a hot second since I've made this wallet, so give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, and this is when... Now you want to put your strips of interfacing on the back. Okay. I have my strips. Oh, see? I think... Oh... until you have five pockets. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna be a little bit longer than it needs to be, I think. Eight high. Yeah, I think she gives you extra here so you can cut it down, yeah. All right, so it is, mine's a little bit, less than 10 so I need to cut it down because you want it eight inches high. I thought I was doing something wrong there for a second. I'm not. I remember there's just extra. Yeah, Lynn's handmade guys. All right and now we want to put on our interfacing. All right. There we go, and you're gonna have it so it's kind of like um, out of the seam allowances on both sides. I, uh, are you supposed to stitch across? Yeah, ooh. You know, I don't think on this pattern, sorry, I'm reading it real quick. She doesn't have you stitch across um, all your card slots. You can do that if you want to. I have done that on other wallets. But on her pattern, she doesn't have you doing that. And I've done it both ways, and both ways are good. 
So it's up to you. If you want to take this first and um, top stitch, go for it. I would have to change my needle out if I wanted to do that because this is just cotton and I have a size 18 needle in and my size 18 needle would be way too thick, way too big, um, and it wouldn't stitch nice. So I'm just gonna do it how she has it in the pattern, but feel free to top stitch if you want. Hope that makes sense. All right. And I'm just using a woven, a woven interfacing. You don't have to um, use heat or use, use heat. You have to use heat. You don't have to use steam. All right, so let's go back here now. Back to the machine. Get my card slots. All right. So, at Make sure we're at the right size. We should be six. So I need to cut just a tiny bit off. I need to cut a fourth of an inch off, which I'm going to do it on this side. I think it's a little bit more wonky. Should have done that before I put on my interfacing. That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so now you want to mark in. Sorry, uh, so three. Yep, okay, three inches from each side. And I am putting on a little ID slot. So I am going to put it on right here. All right. And I think I want it down just a little bit. You don't have to do this little ID slot, but um, I did it on my last one and I loved it. All right. So now we want to separate these two and I'm going to sew down um, an eighth of an inch on each side of this line that I made, okay? So it's not much, just an eighth to each side. want to go an eighth down the other side. And that should catch your ID holder here. Just like that. And then I am going to go ahead and um, stitch these sides too, but I'm going to separate that in half. So you have two different card slots now, two sets. And this is the Marilyn, the Marilyn wallet by Lynn's Handmade. Okay, so now I have two, and they should be both three inches um, wide. Yep. I'm going to stitch down this other side as well to hold everything in place.
I ever have? Um, no, I don't, Cindy. I just put in a new needle, as everybody saw on the last video as well. So, nope. All right, I'm just trimming some things down. And those are my card slots. Look at that. ID holder on that one. Okay. All right, so... Sorry, I'm just reading comments, making sure I'm not missing anything. I forgot to cut out my pieces of Peltex. I need half inch strips of Peltex. I forgot about that. Let me grab some Peltex. Sorry about that. Seven by five Peltex. And they need to be, I think this is just under seven and that's fine. For what I'm using this for, it's fine. Marilyn wallet, guys. They just need to be little half inch strips one half by seven strips. Okay. Just like that. And then I need my card accent pieces. Second. Okay, so it's the smaller one of these ones. Okay, so you need the smaller one. Hello, hello. And then you wanna take these and we're going to, we're gonna fuse them into place. And this gives your wallet on your card slots. It just gives it a good feel. So definitely do this. Don't skip this part. I think it needs it. And it's a fourth inch from the edge. Just like that. And you don't want it in your seam allowances top and bottom. So right there. Okay. And then on the, so if you have directional fabric, oh, sorry. Make sure you're doing this the right way. They're going to be on the insides of both of these pieces. Um, This fabric is from Hawthorne, as always. I mean... I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's Hawthorne Threads. Bye, Kimberly. I wish I could go for a walk. <laughs> not happening. All right, and then I'm just going to um, get my iron and iron those on real quick. Get those all on there. Okay, so now I've got these on, okay? So next, sorry, let me think about this. This part needs to be, Gosh, it's been a while since I've made this wallet, see? Like that and like that. Okay. So you wanna do this the opposite way on each side. Let me get my other little accent piece. And this little accent piece that you're using um, does not have any interfacing on it because you don't need it to be thick, okay? So you wanna take your card slot Okay, and we're doing it on the on the side with the Peltex on it, okay? And we're lining that up here. And then we're going to take our accent piece and put that on top. 
Let me double check that I'm doing this right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna put this on here first and put this on top. No, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when I um, can't think, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, give me a second. Let's see. Card sent, card accent piece one and place it. Side face down. I don't get what I'm doing. Oh, it's on that side. Okay, got it. Here we go. Put this face down first, sew this on. Sorry, my brain is just fourth inch seam allowance. Just like that. <laughs> Took me a minute. And then you wanna take the accent piece on this other side of your card slot down. Okay, face down. And then the whole thing folds over onto itself. Sorry about that, took me a minute. I have seriously made this wallet so many times, I don't know why I couldn't, my brain couldn't figure out what I was doing. <laughs> uh. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have that, and I'm not going to press it with an iron because I don't want to melt my vinyl piece, but we want to, so my Peltex is on this side, and I think I can, I think I'm going to top stitch that after I'm done. Yep, you're gonna wanna fold it so it meets this other side right here. Just like that, okay? Make sure it's even. Looks good. And it should be four inches wide. So I will measure and make sure I am at the right one. Yep, we're good. Okay, so now we can sew this down. I am going to top stitch on the outside of this, and then I'm gonna just sew this together to make it one piece. All right. Yeah, eighth of an inch away from your card slots. You don't want to top stitch on this card slot area because it'll make your card slots too small and you don't want that. And my seam is going away, my seam uh, allowance is going away from my card slots. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this over and I'm just going to connect the whole thing together. And does she do it on both sides? I think she does. And then I'm gonna top stitch as well on this side. Sorry, that took me a hot second. Goodness gracious. Okay, so when you're done with that, 
So this is your Peltex side right here, all right? Um, and this is because it's gonna be a slip pocket um, to get in and out of. And there is this, so this next piece needs to be um, with your Peltex on this side and your cards going up this way. So it's in your wallet the correct way, okay? So just make sure that you're paying attention to that. So I'm gonna put my, So if this goes this way, this way, this way, yes. Okay. Right? Yep. All right, here we go. So do the same thing that you just did on the other side. So I'm sewing my card slots onto the side with my Peltex. And then I will put my accent piece onto this side, other side of my card slots. Hello, Arlene. Sorry, I don't think I have any buddy on here helping right now. There we go. Okay. Fourth inch seam allowance. This time I can press this because I don't have that vinyl piece there. So I'm not worried about it getting melted. So I'm gonna give that a good press. I'm gonna give this side a good press. Whoops, sorry. Here we go. And then I'll fold it over, match it up. Make sure it's measuring four inches and then top stitch and sew it together. Okay, just like that. So now, do you see how that's the Peltex side? This is the raw side, the raw edge side. Okay, looks good. Just gonna top stitch everything down and then we'll move on to the next step. On. that's funny did you tell him you can never have enough clips on anything all right so there are my card slots guys I think they look pretty good all right so sorry that took me a minute let's move on like I said I've made this wallet many times but it's been a while it's been a hot minute okay so next you want these other lining pieces here. And I want this middle piece. And then you want, this is called your pocket piece. All right. And we're gonna sew these all together. And I think fourth inch seam allowance again. So I'm making, this is gonna be like the main inside panel of my wallet. Okay. Okay, you want to place the seam allowance towards your main lining pieces and then top stitch that down. And we are going to trim this whole piece down when we're done as well. All 
All right, and then take this other lining piece and put it here. Kathy, you could totally make this wallet then. This would be easy. I think this one's easier, easier than the necessary clutch wallet. They're both great wallets, but this one I think is easier and doesn't take as long. Oh, I forgot to put my pen piece on there. Sorry about that. I forgot to put this. Um, Susan, you're not gonna have a pen thing in your wallet. That's okay. So if you're gonna put a pen slot, we I forgot to um, sew this to my middle piece before I sewed all this on. I was just wanting to go so fast. Sorry about that. No pen slot for Susan. <laughs> Sorry, sister. All right, so now you wanna cut this down. It needs to be exactly nine by eight, all right? So what you do is nine inches wide. So you are gonna to have to cut off. Um, so I just measure where my center is here because your middle piece is um, one inch exactly wide. So we're going to cut that off. So it's even what you're cutting off on both sides needs to be even. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Susan. And it's about a little over than half an inch what I'm cutting off. All right, and then it needs to be eight. Nine by eight, so you need to cut. Ugh, I need my other cutting board. These aren't the right measurements on this one. <laughs> Hello from Pennsylvania. Ooh, add some elastic. Jaded, that's a great idea. I like that idea. I don't know if I have any elastic. Let me check. All right. So this should be nine by eight. Yep. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna add a little piece of elastic. Jada, that is a great idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, do I have any? I do. Sweet. All right. All right. Lori, um, you know, I think the reason why you're trimming down so much on this pattern is to give you, um, is to be able to give you that little extra in case you do mess up. There is a little bit of waste on this pattern, but all right. Will this unravel? What do you think, Jaded? Melt it with my blowtorch. What do I do? Just put it right there? Wouldn't I have to slip it under? I would have to slip it under. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. All right, next step. You're welcome, Lori. So... We want to just line up everything and baste it all together. So make sure 
that it all fits nicely. So I'm putting this side over here. Hmm, the torch. <laughs> uh, and this side here. And we're gonna baste it all into place. Make sure it's all looking good. Oh, jaded, yeah, sorry, I didn't. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. Susan doesn't need to carry pens around, right? I could unstitch it and put it there if I wanted to, really. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just baste all of those into place and we'll move on to our flap. There is the inside of my wallet. See, it's got those pockets there. I like it. Susan, do you like it? <laughs> oh, the edge. Mm, yeah. Probably. I could probably do the edge. Yeah, lots of different fixes you can do for that. Okay. Let's do our flap. Here we go. So I'm just using this... Um, Mora, Mora Faux Leather from Emmeline. And I just interface this with a woven. That's it. Um, I'm going to sew these together. I am not going to worry about a putting on a snap because I'm going to do a turn lock. And you do that when you're all through at the end. Punch through all your layers with that turn lock. So, okay. So we want to sew your three sides only, fourth inch seam allowance, one fourth inch seam allowance. All right. And here we go. I may have to go redo that curve. I don't like how that turned out. Um, do you think you could put a zipper all the way around? Um, I've never done that, so I'm not sure. Uh, go for it. Try it. Okay, so I'm going to, I think it looks okay. I'm going to trim this with my pinking shears here. And I am going to insert a piece of Peltex into it. I haven't, I think I've only ever done this flap that way. I'm sure you could try and use some Decaville Light maybe. Um, make sure it's out of your seam allowances. You might be able to do that. Now, let's see, is this? Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna turn it and then I'm gonna put my Peltex in there and then top stitch. Just putting some clips there to get it to curve the way, the way I want it. Oh, I hear that wind out there blowing. The snow wouldn't be so bad, but it's just blowing everywhere like crazy. All right, so there is my flap, okay? I'm gonna get my little Peltex that I got here. And I didn't cut that little center out. I need to cut that out. Although I'm just gonna cut it out when it's all done, so it doesn't matter. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining. All right, so push that all the way down in there. If it's a little too big, you can trim it down. Um, this Peltex piece is a pattern piece in the pattern. You wanna get it down as close to the front of this as you can, because you do you do not want this Peltex in your seam allowance up top, because it's kind of a, a bear to sew through and connect your flap to everything if that's in there. All right. There we go. Feels like it's all the way down in there. Okay, and you see how it's got a little gap between this top part, which is what I want. All right, so I am going to top stitch this and then I'm gonna add a turn lock. Well, I'm gonna add the front part of my turn lock, right? And I can close this up because I don't have to get in to do a, um, if you're doing a magnetic snap, you don't wanna close this up, but I can close it up since I'm doing the turn lock. All right. So there is my flap, super cute. Make sure my stitching, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna add a turn lock real quick. All right. Let's see here. I forgot to get this out too before I started. Sorry about that. And I have a bunch of big old turn locks right here. All right. Let me redo my little press. I just ordered another press so I can have one permanently set up for this. So I don't have to switch all the time. Hello. All right, so here is my, I think this one is from Emmeline. I ordered this a while ago from Emmeline. 
They've got some beautiful turn locks. And they put an extra screw in there. That's nice. All right, set that aside. Okay. So, let me get my punches. Am I sewing through the Peltex when I top stitch? Um, no, I don't think I am. I'm sewing right to the edge of it though. It's right out of my seam allowance. All right, so you can use scissors to do this part, but I have these cool little tools and this is how I do it. You just wanna be careful that it's not, see, I feel like that one's just a tad too big. I'm gonna do this one. You don't want your hole to be big. That like is the uh, one big bit of advice I can give you because if it's too big, your lock won't fit in snug and that won't be a good thing. So err on the side of cutting it a little bit smaller Okay, there's that part. And then I'm going to get the tiny, tiny hole one and maybe I will. Where are you at? Oh my goodness. There it is. Cut out the parts for your screws because your lock, if you're doing a turn lock, has this and your screws need to go right there. So what I'm gonna do is mark where my little screws need to go. I got the punches off of Amazon. I can link my Amazon um, shop below and it's on my list. So it makes it easy to find. All right. I'm going to do one there and one here. Now, this doesn't always line up perfectly. I have days where I can't get it to fit for the life of me. So we'll see how I did. I think I did good, guys. Okay, so you want to get your other side and go on top and put your screws in. Um, if you are planning on doing a lot of turn locks, these, these tools are kind of a necessity. It will make your life so much easier to have all of these little tools to make um, your turn lock holes. Caffeinated Stitches is where I got my press plates and she now sells them again. She didn't sell them for a while and she just informed me that they're doing it again. So that's where I got my press plates. But I know there's multiple places where you can get them. Okay. All right. Ooh, pretty. Look at that turn lock. Ta-da. All right. So let's move on to our next step. We want to get our lining that we finished. Okay. And we want to lay our flap. Mm -mm -mm. You want your exterior side up. All right, and you want to center that right there. Make sure your card slots are going the right way. So my card slots are going up. My flap is on this right side here, and this is my 
exterior side up, okay? And you have about a half inch on each side. Look at that. Half inch on each side. Lynn's Handmade Marilyn Wallet, guys. Um, and then you want to baste these two together at an eighth inch seam allowance. Okay, just like that. So when your wallet is all closed, see, it's gonna go up like that. All right, so that we are now going to put our um, zipper onto that, which I haven't cut yet, have I? Okay, let me cut my zipper real quick. Let's see. Six inches long, right there. Okay, let me get my blowtorch here. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. Let me get my zipper pull. We're almost done, guys. Super close. I feel like my brain wasn't wanting to work on this one, though. And I don't think I cut out my zipper tabs, did I? Did I? Um, I didn't cut out my zipper tabs. Just a minute. Let me go. Cut those out real fast. Real fast like. zipper tabs okay so for these ones she just has you I'm just doing um, my my faux leather and I'm just going to the edges like this sewing them on there actually I should probably do a fourth inch seam allowance sorry redo that just kidding fourth inch seam allowance there On both ends. Okay. Um, I am not selling number three zipper um, zipper tape and pulls yet. I just am not there financially to be able to offer both. So eventually I hope to be there and be able to do both. Um, I don't think, no, I want this. This is the front part of my flap. It's supposed to be laying out like this because your wallet is gonna be folding up like that. So this is my exterior of the flap. I made sure that part was right because I have messed that up before, actually on my sister's last wallet. <laughs> and now you got me double checking. I'm pretty sure. Exterior of the flap face up. So yes, I did that right, guys. <laughs> All right, so you want to Trim this down. It's gonna be a little bit longer. I'm just clipping my centers here. I should have marked my center here. I'm gonna do that real quick. Hi, Becky. You just ordered a press. What size of studs do you use to? 
Uh, I'm not sure what, do you mean rivets? Is that what you mean by studs? Um, I use nine, my favorite size is nine uh, millimeters. That's my favorite size of rivets. All right, so you wanna do face down, okay? Match up your centers here. I am gonna trim my zipper down real quick too. I was just doing it this way. Okay. Yeah, so I think you're talking about rivets. I usually like to use nine millimeter rivets is the most common size for me. All right, make sure everything's even there. All right, so this is the part where you need to be sure that you're getting your flap um, in this stitching. I have... Um, had it where it was just a little bit off before and my flap was not completely in. So just be aware that you're getting all layers. My dog is scratching at the door. <clears throat> okay. All right, just like that, I'm gonna baste the zipper in place and then I'm gonna add my um, zipper pocket piece. And then I'm going to get my lining. And this is where you can check and make sure that you have got your flap in there nice and secure. Check there and check here and it looks good. Okay, so you can top stitch the lining or top stitch the, can you top stitch this part? <clears throat> yeah, you're supposed to top stitch it like this and right along here. Okay, and that'll help keep it down and out of the way. Yep. And that seems a little different, but that's just the way this pattern is. So I'm just top stitching this lining and this zipper tape piece, right? Because everything else is flipped out. And that's just gonna help it lay flat in there when you're all done. I'm making the Marilyn wallet, Christine. Okay, so now you want to get your main body piece. And we're going to be sandwiching everything together on this end. All right, let me mark the center of this. Okay, just like that. So we're just making a big zipper sandwich.
um, struggle with combining patterns and colors of fabrics. Yeah, it's kind of hard to visualize what it's all going to look like sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes I just don't think too much about it and go for it. <laughs> if I think too much about the combinations I'm doing, then I struggle. Okay, I'm just basting that on first. And then I'll add my lining to the other side. Hi, Jade. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Would this be doable on a domestic? Um, I believe it would be doable on a domestic because you don't even have to top stitch it all together on the outside at the very end. There's no really thick seams. So yes, and I'm pretty sure the designer of this make sure that her patterns are domestic machine friendly. There we go, Lois says yes. Thank you, Lois. Can you share a link to where you bought your plates? Um, so it's called Caffeinated Stitches. And if you're on my Facebook group, she just made a post with all of her information. I will try to link it below in the description of this video when I'm done with it, because it's hard to do it while I'm on the video. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, here's our pocket right here. What we're going to do is we're sewing this together and we're leaving our pocket open to pull it through. Okay, so make sure your zipper is open, make sure your pocket is open. All right, and we are going to be lining up and clipping it all together. And I think you want to pinch your zipper tabs in half and, and put them towards your um, lining piece like this, okay? So pinch and you wanna put them towards your lining piece. And the reason you do that is it's gonna help it come out at the end nicely, okay? So pinch it towards the lining just like that. All right, and just start clipping everything up. Now, the only couple of places you are going to have to worry about your seam allowance is right here by the flap. Make sure that you have enough room and that you're not sewing over um, your flap. And I think that's it really, is just your flap. And I think because of that, you could switch to a zipper foot if you chose, so you could get closer to that. Um, because it's about a half inch that you have there. I think what I usually end up doing is sewing this wallet together at a fourth inch seam allowance instead of a three eighths, which let me make sure. Let me see if I'm telling you right. Mm. Okay, yep, you switch between a half inch seam allowance and a fourth inch seam allowance in this pattern. Um, we put your other half of the turn uh, clasp on when you're right before you close it all up. So I haven't forgotten. <laughs> you put it on after we do all this. Okay, so... <clears throat> All right, and okay, 
So you're sewing a half inch seam allowance along this bottom edge and a fourth inch along these sides. Um, you can also sew a half inch where this pocket is to make sure it fits in there nicely. And then we turn it. I don't know, just a second. Yep, all right, here we go. I'm gonna start at a half inch down here by the pocket. And then go to that fourth inch. And I am going to need help getting over this for sure. Yep, you could add a wristlet strap. This That would be super cute. Okay, I'm just putting a piece of vinyl under my foot to help it over all of that. Um, your zipper tab and stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm doing a fourth inch seam allowance here. And then when I get to this end, I'll do a half inch. And then I'll go back down to that fourth inch. And then I'm gonna increase it again to that half inch for the bottom so my pocket fits in nice. Okay, I'm gonna trim things down. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Nellie. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit. Start flipping it through. Almost there. Yay. Oh, thanks, Deborah. Hopefully, I didn't mess anything up. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, we turn this out, poke out of all of our corners really good. We add a big piece of Peltex to the main body of our wallet, and then then we add our turn clasp and um, nameplate. Or if you wanted to add a tag earlier to this, then hopefully you did. But I mean, how long has this taken me? A little over an hour? So, I mean, this, pretty, this is a pretty quick wallet. And my video didn't quit, knock on wood. Okay, so make sure that you get everything turned out here. I'm gonna get my little tool. Ooh, it's looking good. Hopefully my sister likes her wallet. <laughs> Poke out your corners really good. Get those looking nice. I have top stitched this before this wallet, which you could do if you wanted to. Get your corners poked out really good. 
okay? Now, if you don't like the way that she does these zipper tabs, you do have the option to make it so your zipper tabs are not in this uh, seam allowance at all and make them shorter. Um, most of you know what I mean by that. Um, that is an option because it is hard to get perfect looking zipper tabs the way that they are sewn in here. Sorry, it's taken me a minute. You really gotta push all these out. All right, I'm just gonna push my pocket in and we'll fold it up so you guys can see what we have before we put in our Peltex here. So this, like here, and like that. There is our Marilyn wallet. So that, do you see that? Hard to avoid when you're sewing your zipper tabs in with your seams. It just is, that's just all there is to it. It's hard to get that to look perfect. I would leave it out of the seam allowances if you don't want it to look like that. And do I have something made? I don't think I do that I can show you. So that is an option. Okay, so what we wanna do next, our last step is put our Peltex in and put our turn lock on. So you want to get this piece of Peltex, which I'm gonna see if it's the right, it looks about right. Looks about the right size. I'm gonna fold it in thirds like this. And I wanna slip it. Actually, I'm gonna pull out my zipper pocket first here. And I want it to be, I want my zipper pocket to be behind it um, on the inside of my wallet because I want to be able to put my turn lock through this Peltex. Does that make sense? And my nameplate. Yes, um, Stephanie, exactly how I did it on, thank you. Yeah, how I did it on my pouch. Where's my little pouch? Yeah, so if you want to, you can do the zipper tab just like this. Do you see how it's completely out of your seam allowance here? And then you get a little bit better looking edges um, instead of that. So yes, thank you for reminding me. Um, this is Decaville heavy because I didn't have a big enough piece of Peltex. All right, so what you want to do after that is in, don't sew up your pocket yet. Okay, that gives it oh, such a better feel, okay? So now you want to figure out where you want your turn lock. All right, so the trick with this is, I'm gonna get my other wallet and show you real quick. So this is the one I actually carry and use, okay, that I made a while ago. And I made sure when I put my turn lock on that I gave myself lots of room. Do you see how much room is in there? Because I wanted to be able to fit quite a, I have a lot of stuff in there. I wanted to be able to close it and be able to fit quite a few things and if I wanted to slide my phone in there. So this part is really important um, not to close it all the way flat and be like, I need to put it there because then you have no room, right? So you want to make sure that when you're putting on this turn lock, that you're moving your flap up and that's giving you space to load it up with. All right. So make sure that you're keeping that in mind when you're um, finishing this. And what I'm going to do, I really like where this one is at. I'm just going to measure where I put that. And I put it 
one, almost one and a half inches down. So that's where I'm gonna put this one because I feel like it's a good space, okay? So now we wanna put that turn lock in. So I get my lock. It's Holly Hauser for caffeinated stitches. If you guys, are you asking about that? It's Holly Hauser, caffeinated stitches. I just lost that. Okay. So I want to take this. So make sure you center wherever you're going to put your lock here. And I said about an inch and a half. And it's seven, a little over seven. So three, half, three. That's not right. Right there. Okay. So make sure, get this, and so that is gonna be about right there, that's perfect. See, that gives it, and if you're not sure, stuff this wallet. Get your stuff, go put a, a bunch of stuff in it, and then close it, and that really will help you with where you need to place this. So I've got my hand in here. I'm gonna make super um, careful. You could put a little cutting pad in there a little cutting mat in there too, that would probably help. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that, just a second. Let me get a small cutting mat. Uh, maybe, too many drawers, there we go. All right, I've got like a small cutting mat. What are you asking, Kristen? Um, Rose Go Vinyl, this, are you talking about this? This is Rex Vinyl from um, Emmeline. Emmeline Bags. All right, so I'm putting my cutting mat down in there, and my Peltex is right next to this, okay? And then let me make sure I know which ones I need to cut out here. Okay. Right there. Okay. This is kind of a tricky part, getting your um, washer and stuff on there. Oh, Rita, that's okay. It's a fun little game getting this in there. Sorry, I gotta get my other hand in there. Come on. These do not wanna go down. These are good, strong prongs. Oh my goodness. There we go. Da da da. <laughs> Phew. All right, I'm gonna push this down. I've got my pad in there, my cutting mat. All right, and then make sure that you protect those prongs with some tape or something, All right? Always. Um, I'm not sure, Christine, um, what gauge 
of clear vinyl I used. It was just a roll that I got from my punk a while ago. And I'm not sure what the gauge is on it. I'm gonna put one more piece down in there to make sure I got it covered. Ooh, my tummy's growling. I'm ready for some food. I think I've earned some food, right? All right, so now, um, if you wanted to, you could top stitch just up to here. I'm not going to, I think it looks good without. I will add my nameplate right here and then sew up my zipper pocket and then, guys, you're done. That is the Marilyn wallet. Look how adorable that is. Oh, see, there we go, yay. All right, um, hopefully this was fun to watch. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Sorry for the um, interrupted videos. I don't know what was happening with all of my lives, but luckily this one went all the way through. So yay, I just made my sister a wallet. So hopefully she loves it. And if you haven't tried the Marilyn, go check it out. It is seriously, and there's a there's a mini Marilyn wallet too. I think it's called the Demi. Um, it looks adorable as well. My favorite wallet pattern right here. Super cute. All right. I hope you guys are all staying safe and warm. Have a good Sunday. Yay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you all later. We'll see you. I am gone all next week. So no videos from me next week, um, but I will be here when I get home. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.